Numerous treasures have been uncovered by courageous scientists throughout the years from the frozen tundra, where ice has preserved both the ordinary and the remarkable. So come along with us as we explore the icy depths. Here are 10 of the most shocking things scientists discovered in ice. Elongated skulls. The year 2014 saw a group of daring explorers uncover a mystery buried deep within Antarctica, three startlingly elongated skulls, the first human remains ever discovered in this barren region. The sheer boldness of this discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, sparking a flurry of theories about our ancient past. However, what truly sets these skulls apart is their uncanny resemblance to the mysterious elongated skulls found in far-flung corners of the world, from the ancient lands of Egypt to the ancient civilization of Peru and beyond. Despite their icy beginnings, these Antarctic skulls resembled those of their counterparts hundreds of miles away. It's as though a secret thread linked the far corners of the planet, creating a tapestry of intrigue and mystery. How did these skulls get their peculiar shape? The solution is found in the strange customs of certain ancient societies that were carried down from generation to generation. These societies purposefully stretched their newborn skulls from a tender age. It is unclear what motivated these societies to carry out such abnormal rites. Though the causes are yet unknown, theories point to a combination of social, cultural, and perhaps spiritual impulses. Mammoth Brains Finding a perfectly preserved brain inside a woolly mammoth's mummified body is extremely uncommon. The mammoth mummy, which is currently on display in Moscow, was first discovered 93 miles away from the original excavation site. It is thought to be approximately 39,000 years old. This particular specimen was discovered in Russia in 2010, unlike most mammoth remains which have not retained their brains. This discovery provided a unique opportunity for scientists to study the neurological structure of this extinct species. Recent investigations have revealed that the mammoth was actually young, estimated to have been between six and nine years old at the time of its demise. This relatively short life cycle likely contributed to its exceptional preservation. Scientists were able to observe the cerebellum, which is located at the posterior part of the brain, which exhibited well-preserved white and gray matter, but the forebrain, which is located at the front of the brain, was in relatively poor condition. Researchers drilled into the skull for additional investigation, which allowed them to find soft tissue remnants. Despite the fact that the discovery of an intact mammoth brain is a major scientific achievement, two female woolly mammoths were found in 2007 and 2009. By comparing the skeletal structures of these two specimens, scientists were able to identify notable differences that may point to evolutionary changes within the species. The Yahtzee Man The extraordinary human specimen known as the Iceman, an ancient figure who has enthralled experts and provided light on our shared heritage, is one of the most well-known discoveries encased in ice. This amazing person, who is thought to be about 5,300 years old, provides insight into the mysterious Copper Era as well as serving as a genetic ancestor for many Austrians. His extraordinarily well-preserved body offers a unique window into the past and insightful information about the lives and cultures of our ancestors. But what's even more fascinating about the Iceman are the 61 tattoos that cover his body. At first, experts thought these marks had religious or cultural meaning, but more investigation has shown an unexpected twist. It turns out that these tattoos had a medicinal function, relieving pain and illness. Let's take a closer look at the life of this remarkable person. In addition to his tattoos, the Iceman carried a burden of diseases that revealed the difficulties he faced in his time. He suffered from gallbladder stones, osteochondrosis, and a joint disorder. Interestingly, six of his tattoos directly marked areas where he experienced the most physical deterioration. The Iceman's body, a canvas of ancient artistry, has become a test to early forms of medical treatment. There is more to this fascinating story. When the Iceman was found, an arrow embedded in his shoulder and a fatal blow to his skull indicated a violent end. It is a rare glimpse into the ancient world that illuminates the reasons behind getting tattoos during the Copper Age. Frozen Fish In 2015, photographer Kelly Preheim visited Lake Andes National Wildlife Refuge with the intention of taking breathtaking photos of the breathtaking beauty of nature. Little did he know that what he found there would be more reminiscent of a dystopian world than a picturesque landscape. The photograph he took was truly surreal, showing a towering four-foot-tall frozen wall made entirely of fish. 
The sight left viewers scratching their heads in disbelief. At first glance, one might think that the fish had frozen mid-leap out of the water, as if caught in mid-air by an icy gust of wind. To achieve this challenge, temperatures would need to drop to nearly zero Kelvin, or absolute zero, a startling minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the immense emptiness of space itself. However, no area on Earth is cold enough to instantly freeze an entire wave of fish. The underlying explanation for this mysterious image is the thick layer of foggy ice that is forming on the lake surface. As the ice grows, sunlight is blocked, which prevents aquatic plants from photosynthesizing and producing oxygen. The fish living in the lake are suffocated by the lack of oxygen, which causes them to float to the surface and perish. However, the question still stands as to how the fish ended up trapped in such an upright position. It's possible that the climate changed even more, resulting in more ice formation. As the ice expanded, it exerted pressure toward the shore, eventually buckling and spreading out vertically. Additionally, strong winds may have contributed to the frozen fish's upward movement, eventually forming a towering wall that is four feet high. This is an intriguing side note that amidst the tragedy of the trapped fish. Hungry seagulls feasted on this frozen phenomenon. These courageous scavengers were unfazed by the freezing scene and regarded it as a chance for a frozen supper. They took advantage of the opportunity to eat and feasted on the cold fish, demonstrating the adaptability and durability of nature's creatures. 100-Year-Old Whiskey Two boxes of excellent Scotch whiskey were discovered buried beneath the Antarctic ice after approximately a century. When archaeologists discovered this unexpected treasure, they delayed removing the boxes from their ice trap for several years, fearing that doing so would spoil their discovery. Eventually, after bringing all the necessary tools to the site, they were able to carefully remove the boxes, and it took almost two weeks for the whiskey to defrost from 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It was discovered that 10 bottles of the whiskey had survived there for a century. An ancient meteorite. Meteorites stand out against the striking backdrop of the huge Antarctic ice, making them more visible and approachable. With a shocking 90% of all known meteorite discoveries on Earth found on this frozen continent, this special quality is one of the main reasons Antarctica has become a hotbed for meteorite discoveries. The ice itself acts as a natural preservative, shielding these cosmic fragments from corrosion and degradation over time. Over the past five decades, an astounding number of more than 10,000 meteorites have been unearthed in Antarctica. Some of these alien artifacts are almost 700,000 years old, providing an intriguing window into our planet's past interactions with the universe. One particularly fascinating discovery was made in 2015 when researchers discovered a tiny meteorite that had landed into Earth in 2002 and was roughly the size of a potato. Surprisingly, further investigation showed that this celestial wanderer was from Mars. Zug Zug a chilling and intriguing sight greeted visitors to Theodore Vith Regional Park in Minneapolis, USA in 2021. Within this imposing six-foot-tall block of ice that emerged from the trees was what looked to be a human figure, but this frozen enigma took the form of a disheveled-haired caveman holding a club-shaped weapon in its right hand. Attracting curious onlookers keen to see this real-life man cave, the sight had an unsettling quality that made it seem like the opening of a horror film, making viewers feel both scared and intrigued. But fear not, this frozen scene was actually the artistic creation of Zach Shimak, who loves the unusual and has a flair for the dramatic. It was not a sign of anarchy or carnage. Though the caveman's cold presence may cause one to pause, Zach created the Iceman known as Zugzug, -Zug, captivating visitors' imaginations and guiding them away from their screens to experience the delights of the great outdoors and the majesty of snow. It's crucial to keep in mind that Zugzug -Zug is merely an artistic production made of plastic. Rather than being a sign of doom, he now lives contentedly in the artist's house. Sons of Lilialeko In 1999, three mummified figures were discovered atop the summit of the Lilialeko Estrada Volcano, which is located on the border between Argentina and Chile. Among the ancient remains were the preserved bodies of two children, estimated to be between six and seven years old, and a teenage girl. Tragically, these young souls were the victims of a sacrificial ritual carried out by the Inca civilization, which is thought to have taken place in the 15th. The Hios de Lilaco are a group of children who were either chosen for sacrifice because of their perceived beauty or because their parents offered them as part of a ritualistic practice meant to ensure a bountiful harvest. 
Biochemical analysis revealed that the teenage girl's hair sample revealed a remarkable record of her dietary habits and fluid intake during the last two years of her life. Surprisingly, traces of alcohol and coca leaves were found in her hair, indicating that these substances were administered to induce all altered states of consciousness associated with sacred rituals. Additionally, considering the horrific circumstances surrounding the five feet underground demise of these defenseless children, it seems possible that these drugs were used for more utilitarian objectives, such as sedation. The very good preservation of their bodies was probably made possible by the hard and merciless conditions of the high altitude, which included frigid temperatures and dry air. A chilling monument to death's relentless hold, these tragic discoveries serve as powerful reminders of the beliefs, habits, and sacrifices undertaken by the ancient civilizations that formerly flourished in these regions in the name of religious devotion. Bloody Falls the McMurdo Dry Valley's blood fall, despite its striking name, is not a gory flow of blood. The fascinating natural phenomenon's origins date back to 9011, when a group of scientists discovered an ice cliff stained a striking dark red color. At first, they thought that the surrounding red algae might be the cause of this unusual discoloration, but the true explanation remained unknown for nearly a century. Fast forward to more recent times, when research from the University of Alaska Fairbanks finally provided light on the mystery of the blood falls, the intriguing combination of oxidized iron and salt water is what gives the water its deep red hue. This process is similar to how rusty iron turns dark red when it comes into contact with oxygen. When iron-rich salt water comes into contact with oxygen, the iron oxidizes and gives the water the vivid red hue that we see at the falls. Therefore, how does this fascinating phenomenon come about? The secret is found in a complex system of subglacial rivers and a subglacial lake full of brine water, which has a high salt content and a lower freezing point than pure water. As a result, when the brine is exposed to cold temperatures, it stays liquid and flows through the subglacial channels. In addition, the weight of the glacier exerts significant pressure on the brine, which lowers its freezing point even further and permits the rivers to flow. Frosty Fossils Tyndall Glacier in southern Chile will unfortunately melt as a result of the planet's gradual and worrisome consequences of climate change. This enormous river of ice withdrew more than three kilometers between 1945 and 2001, providing a sobering illustration of the condition of our environment. But despite the startling rate of glacier melting, a spectacular discovery that provided a window into the distant past was made from the thawing ice of the Tyndall Glacier. Paleontologists discovered remarkably well-preserved fossils that had been entombed in the frozen bedrock of this formerly flowing region. Nearly three times older than the oldest known Tyrannosaurus rex, these fossils belonged to an ancient beast called the Ichthyosaur, a marine reptile that roamed the world's waters some 250 million years ago. These creatures had unusual features like plump bodies, striking eyes, and large, dolphin-like muzzles that inspired the images were whimsical, like something a three-year-old paleontologist would have drawn. But as scientists dug deeper into the Tyndall Glacier discovery, they discovered more than just a single fossil waiting for them. The issue of how this gathering of giants came to rest in this icy tomb emerged as they discovered a startling total of 76 ichthyosaurs, each with its own unique story embedded in the ancient ice. Experts believe that a phenomenon known as a turbidity current played a role in this enigmatic discovery. Gathering turbidity currents are swift water flows that descend quickly beneath the sea due to earthquake activity or collapsing slopes. The ichthyosaurs are thought to have been carried away by the turbulent river and dumped into an open chasm where they were buried by sediments that gradually crumbled and cemented into silty residue layers. This procedure produced an oxygen-free anoxic condition, which successfully stopped the carcass's bacterial deterioration and preserved them in astounding detail. Scientists have gained invaluable insights into the world of these ancient marine reptiles and their embryonic development thanks to the discovery of fossilized ichthyosaurs, some of which even had fetuses inside of them. These discoveries have also allowed researchers to piece together a more complete understanding of the biology of these species and the evolution of life in the prehistoric waters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more.